Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the preview of Army Men Plastic and Fire. Or was it Army Men Fire and Steel? Or was it Fire and Plastic? I don't know, I haven't come up with the name yet. Welcome to the new world map for the new series I'm working on. Arm, uh, Army Men, whatever it is, Fire and Steel, Fire and Plastic, Plastic and Fire, whatever I'm going to name it, it is going to be taking place during the 17th century all the way to 1924. So we got World War I, we got the Civil War, we got the, the Independence Wars, we got the Napoleon Wars. We have the Russian War. We have all sorts of different wars. I'm super excited. And as you can see, this is a little bit of a preview. Um, I have a new microphone if you guys are listening in. I thought maybe you guys can hear it out and I can give it a test. Don't know how well it is till I start, you know, putting this into the uh, softwares that I use for recording. Um, but here we are. So right now I've only been kind of working on the greens and the orange now there are two different types of greens the united and the republic both are very different in their beliefs their way of living and how everything should be the more lighter greens based off of the confederates um are the united they do believe in the idea of no taxes where one man can rule an empire of his own heart where he is willing to pay others any wage he believes is right and and in the belief that all men and maybe some women <laughs> are created equally Okay, I, I'm joking. All women are equal as men. Jesus. The darker greens are the Republic. They are the ones that um, usually live around the main capital over here. The Republic believes that all men are also created equally. The pay of what a man makes should be dictated by the government and the state. All men are allowed to own land and are allowed to own items, but they must pay taxes when they buy them. Taxation is the only way to make sure everything runs clearly in the Republic's mind. Those that do not pay their taxes will be in trouble. Both sides live opposite of each other while the more united greens live in the beautiful flowery fields and gardens of the great uh, flower fields, while the other lives with water and docks and trading. In the south are these flowery fields. There's something very special about these flowers. They are very much on high demand. The blues use them for their teas. The tans use them for healing items when they're always going to war for themselves. And somehow the reds, you know them, they're flavoring their alcohol with the flowers. So the dark greens decide, you know what? We make a lot of money off of these flowers trading with the others. Let's tax them. And so, unfairfully, the light greens, these boys over here, are now being taxed unfairly up to 50% for the flowers that they pick. The light greens decide that they're not going to put up with this anymore. They want to become independent or fight and die trying. And to prove how serious they are, Robert Green and Jack Greenwood decide it's time to take matters into their own hands and spark the greatest civil war the Greens will ever 
see in their lifetime. So, yeah, we're going to have the Great Green Civil War. It's going to start here. I got to add a lot more stuff. I got to add the orange, which are going to be, I think, controlling, I think, mainly this part here. Like up here, we're going to put some maybe uh, native Indians, maybe over here. I also want to add over the sea to where we would have Napoleon Tan taking on a lot of stuff in the Great Napoleon Wars. Anyway, hope you enjoy my new microphone. Hope you enjoy soon to be the new uh, battles that will be coming later on. I'm still working on stuff, obviously, but the map is going well. Everything is going great. Hopefully I can have this out mm, by the this first battle by uh, this coming weekend, if not next week. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, take care.